John Walker is a member of a specialized scout program, Sea Scouts. Aboard his unit's 27-foot sailboat, the focus is on learning the safe and proper methods of handling boats. Every week we have a ship meeting, we'll go out and sail for the day. Occasionally we'll have an overnight, which is when we would use this boat mainly. Sea Scout units are called uh, ships. John, a Bearden High School graduate, uh, is an able rank member of Ship 300. The co-ed unit meets at Concord Yacht Club. Sea Scouts learn to maintain and operate vessels with a focus on learning the safe and proper methods of handling boats. The main rule on any boat is to always be holding on to something yeah. as <laughs> the, the reason uh, you can tell the boat's rocking. John is a certified sailing instructor, this an honor, and I appreciated his instructions because in February, the water is cold. But in the summer, a few years ago, off Long Beach, California, John and members of Ship 300 participated in quite an adventure on the sea. All the Sea Scouts um, from the world, not just the USA, um, got together and had a race, uh, a regatta, which is a series of races. Considering the worldwide competition, placing 17th out of 40 boats was pretty good. I was in the Army, what's this uniform called? Uh, this is the Cracker Jacks uniform, the, our dress whites. John's formal uniform resembles the U.S. Navy's enlisted style uniform, but dungarees or khakis is the normal attire. What do you say to other people who might be interested in Sea Scouts? Well, there's no reason not to sail a $20,000 boat once a week. John Walker, Sea Scout of the Year. He'll soon be joining the Coast Guard.